Hi everybody, it's us, Auntie Donna. We're currently in Dallas for uh, our North American tour, part one, which we are doing right now. We don't have a video clip dropping this week, but we do next week. So uh, if you do want to get your cheeky hands on that album and some of them tunes, please pre-order the album now from iTunes or uh, give the tracks a listen on Spotify. And for this week, please enjoy a live podcast recording. Welcome. Uh Get the, get the fucking phone out of the way. They can't see the money job. I was just trying to relax. The, put your... Uh, welcome. This is, this is groundbreaking, it. everybody. This is the first ever podcast. Aunty Donna, it's our 84th or something podcast, but the first one so we wanted to that celebrate. we're filming and putting on the tube for a bit of a thing. Mark! Oh, <laughs> so I'm genuinely not doing that on purpose. I ge- like, you, I'm just used to be able to doing... In- Sitting however I want. Right. I hope you know so, that wasn't so on So for purpose. everyone who's listening to this podcast right now, Mark has decided, because there's a filmed element for <laughs> some of the audience, to block our I faces. wasn't doing it on purpose. I promise. I promise. Anyway, we thought there'd be a good way to cross it. How are you guys? You well? Uh, can I be honest right now? Yes. Can I speak truthfully for a moment? You know, you can always speak the truth to us, brother. That's what we're here for. Thank you. Uh, how am I? It was your question. I need to be eating a little bit more fiber. Are you blocked up? Or am I blocked up? Have you ever had an enema? Uh, no, I haven't. But we're I talking fe- about- it feels like a plug. It feels like a plug. But what's crazy- As in a plug for an ad, like a, a product it or feels a plug? Like, no, no, no. It feels like my bottom is plugged up. But then there's nothing solid when it does come out. So I don't know what's going on. And there's a lot of blood in there. And I'm good. R- genuinely, there's a lot of blood. A, a huge amount of blood. I'm good. Is it's mine. like I'm just spraying blood. No, that's not true. That was my attempt at some Mark humour. <laughs> How'd <laughs> I go, Mark? I was genuinely concerned for your well-being. Oh, I'm fine. Because I've been in the bloody asshole. place I just made before. it. Wait, are you not making it up when you say these things? No. No, I'm usually very honest. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is the premise for the first ever filmed podcast. We thought we would go through the albums, songs that are currently out and read the best comments. Uh, I'm trying very hard not to keep doing this. Like, it's a thing I have to... And when I say this, people who are listening is put my phone in front of the camera. Careful what you're showing hard. to the camera. Is it not not pornos or your home phone number or or you know secret passwords? No, it's none right. of you those just make things. Make sure you're not doing that. I'm being very careful. Um, yeah. So we've, if anyone doesn't know this, I'm sure everyone does, but we've just released. Uh, we're releasing uh, s- music videos for an album every week on YouTube. It's both an album and our latest YouTube series. Mm-hmm. We've got two videos out at the moment. We will have three uh, by the time this comes out. Um, but we've got two right now. So out. just say we've got three. Okay, we've got three videos out at the moment. We'll be reading comments from the first two <laughs> uh, for no <laughs> discernible reason. <laughs> Uh, and we're just going to be reading some of the comments. Uh, yeah, I've got one. I've got one up that I wanted to talk about because this has been. We've gotten this comment several times, and Broden addressed it quite clearly, I think. <laughs> um, which was someone wrote. Uh, so it's about Professor Whiskers. Our wrote, second music. Our video. second music video, but we have of three, three. Out. of three, of that, three are out. that are out. But we're only reading oh, comments and of the first two. Tom's in the corner. Tom's in the corner. There you go. Great. Um, they write, how did he cat? How did he cat? <laughs> how did he cat? How well, did he get? <laughs> boy, did he cat. How did he, he How get... did he cat? I'll tell you how. Shut he... up! Okay. Right. <laughs> how did he get the cat pregnant if he cut off his own balls? Bam. Which, which and is, Broden. Which on the internet, people like to be the person that tries to find a loophole or a yeah. little, you know, like a hole in the logic. And they're like, oh, if I do this, I'm going to get all the upvotes. But we've thought about this. We know exactly the reason. It's very simple. He fucked a cat. He fucked a cat. And the cat got pregnant off human semen. 
mm-hmm. somehow. Mm-hmm. That should be the issue, by the way. You can't. Yeah. A human can't fuck a cat and get it pregnant. It should start and end there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fucking idiot. He fucked the cat, got it pregnant, and then had his and balls cut off. off his it's fuck. What? <laughs> Why? What do you think? That's uh, that's not what I remember agreeing on. What, what did do you remember agreeing on? I thought the logic that we worked out was that he cut off his own balls. Yeah. Then he went into the scrot and took out the nut. No. And then he sliced Juiced the nut it, in yeah. half. Have we learned? Kind of like a like a cream egg. <laughs> And then he <laughs> and then he sucked the cum out oh, of a half God, nut into no. his mouth. Oh. And then he went to the neighbor's cat. No, no, and he pursed no, his you don't lips. want to say this. He Why pursed are you his lips. That, mate? And he and he put the cat's vagina to his mouth and then he squirted the cum from his mouth into the into the cat's vagina. And that's how he got it pregnant. The most Is that not what we agreed on? You've ever said. <laughs> That's so full on. The point of filming these podcasts is to get people on board. You've just talked about spitting bloody. Cum. I don't think there's a need to repeat it. So my plan, because I'm already, my, I'm already doing. Guys, I'm doing I, one second. I'm already doing, you know, control in my head. I'm trying to figure out how do we resolve this, and I'm already planning. He'll be beeped, but we'll still film all of this. That's what I'm planning in my right, head. Right. But and you'll see him doing very, you know. Very so the the point where he talks about spitting Please. bloody come into a cat's vagina. I never said blood. I never said blood. Okay. Very clean procedure. <laughs> well, there's blood in the video. my no, my no, question is when did here. I he- I didn't make this up, did I? Yes, you either dreamed it because my I remember talking about the only it. other I remember circumstance talking about it. the only other circumstance that I remember saying was that Professor Whiskers. Or Wayne uh, has ejaculated into a cup, yeah. frozen it, uh-huh. put it in his freezer. Yes. So he froze it uh-huh. and then put it in his freezer. Yeah. And then he has cut off, he has castrated himself, mm-hmm. which is the procedure. Mm-hmm. And then he has found a cat. Who is willing to be a what would you call it a uh, a donor or, or, like a, or a, a surrogate 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 mm-hmm. surrogate? Uh, he's found someone who's happy mm. to be the surrogate, and they ha- and he has inseminated the cat. Yeah, See, by okay. and what I remember talking about in that instance oh, no. was that he got okay. the frozen cum and he got one of those like spud guns, you know, like oh. a potato gun. <laughs> oh. And he would and he jammed the See, potato that's gun enough. into the frozen it's already evocative enough. cum, and then you he can stop here. But how do they know how they the know. cum got from the spud gun into the cat? I like, think the easiest way is he had sex with a cat and then he cut off his own balls. To me, can I say, say what I thought I just, we'd agreed well, on? I just feel like I'm going crazy. It's just, yes. Can I say what I thought we agreed on? Yeah. I thought we agreed on it just being a stray cat that strolled into the neighbourhood. Had nothing to do with him. I remember that too. I do remember that. It's not a naughty... I or... swear we did the... I swear we spoke about the cream egg. Testicle put in the mouth, spit into the cat scenario. I ca- if I just made that Mark, up, I want you to know I'm going to push very bizarre. hard. That's on bizarre. Beeping, I'm beeping you. <sighs> I might fight you on that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna. I I, 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 I don't, I don't think, think we need to fight. We just need to have your mother listen to this. That's okay. I think she'd find it funny. Oh, that's nice. Broden, what's I, your comment? I haven't got a comment yet. Uh, go and find the find the. Find a find a rough comment. A rough comment. What's well, a rough the one? most upvoted one on Professor Whiskers I can read out. Yeah, what's, what's that? that? Is is uh. Wait, no, this is the wrong oh, one. Sorry, I told you I was going to keep doing that. It's not on purpose. <laughs> I put my phone in front of Broden's face again. I keep doing it. <laughs> Listening to this song doesn't make me chuffed. Right. Brutal. So what? they've taken. Why would you read that out? Because you told me to. <laughs> So they've taken the sort of what would you call it the score or like the joke Chuff. for the one of the last video, mm-hmm. and then they've put that on. I didn't realize how full on this song was. I think it's a- what I thought. I thought it was as full on as you could get, but I found out today. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it's that full on. But I don't either. But the people are telling us it is. People are like oh, I think full they're on. wrong. Uh, can I read my little crazy comment? Crazy yep. comment. Yeah. 
uh, from Epic Master five days ago. <laughs> Ugh. Um, a plus content. On what? That's video? a good one. Yeah, they just. I think they've really enjoyed the video. That was unchuffed. Yeah, they just really enjoyed the video. I wanted to let us know. So thanks for that, Epic Master. You know, there's been a lot of love for Professor Whiskers too. That's all I'm saying. Someone just wrote, "This is." <laughs> this is good. I don't know. This is bad. Probably not. Someone wrote very good content. What about this one? I wish I had the money to pay Broden to sing more. Wow. Wow. I knew it, was, it would come. I didn't know that quickly. And you couldn't afford it. I'm very expensive. Content. Top quality content. How, you scrolled for a long time there. Not as long as you'd think. Not as long as you'd think. Here's a good point. Why did the revolver eject a casing? That's, that's <laughs> one I can get around. That, I can get on board with that. I can really get on board with that. Well, what happened, right, <laughs> is the cat's vagina <laughs> was nearby. <laughs> that, it's, not the, it's not the casing from the revolver. That is the spud gun cum palette. Yeah. Being rejected from the cat's vagina. Yeah. Now, this is the top comment that I see on Chuffed. Yeah. Seeing Mark's dad got me chuffed. He's a, he's a beautiful he's man. He's in it. He's a beautiful man. In what way is he beautiful? Um, he's kind. He's very, he's very gentle. He's a very gentle man. He's a gentleman. He's a gentleman and he's a gentle man. I'm having dinner with him tonight, and I'm very excited to see him again. What are you he's having? a gentleman. I'm not sure. Was he always probably... a gentleman, or, or has uh, he softened with age? I think he's he's no, he's always had a gentle demeanor. I think he can get quite uh, angry and frustrated, like many men of his generation mm. do. Does he do this? Can. <laughs> yes, he does, does he do, do this. <laughs> yes, he does do that. What about this? Um, <laughs> yes, he does do that. Does he do this? No. <laughs> yes, he does do that. Does he do this? Uh, yes, he does do that. Does he do this when something goes wrong? Uh, yes, he does do that. What about this? <laughs> yes, he does do that. There's, a, there's so many things he does. Uh, Sorry, does he do this? <laughs> no. No, it's a pigeon. What about this? <laughs> yes, he does do that. Yeah, right. yeah. Um, he's a beautiful man, uh, and I'm glad that there's there's love for him. I'm glad there's love for him. He's loved. Um, He's found the love of his life, has he not? I've been following you all for years, and the songs are my favourite. I haven't laughed out loud like this since Bigoted Bill and Bikey Wars on Professor Whiskers. Thank you very much. That's great. Uh, actually, I got, I got a comment for a video we released recently. Great. What is it? It's just from a friend of mine, just on my on my DMs. Mm. The private met. They slipped into your DMs. They slipped into my DMs. He said. I've been crying with laughter watching your Auntie Donna Awards video. <laughs> One of the most laugh out loud things I've seen in a while. Who's that from? It's from my friend Christian. Thanks, Christian. Thanks, Christian. He said, that's some Andy Kaufman shit. So it's just a lovely comment from my friend in my DMs. Do you want to know what I said to him? What? Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Wow. A thumbs up. We're right on the pulse of this one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to read a guy called, and he's probably watching this. His name is, his YouTube name is Angsty Teabags, right? And he said on Chuffed, I didn't have a dad growing up, but now I review milk. So I guess I turned out all right. Now, I think he, I think his channel is him reviewing milk. Is it genuinely? No, he's he, he's got angsty tea bags. He looks like a a young ginger, a young Brit ginger, uh, and I think uh, and I haven't looked into his stuff that much, but that is a top comment. That's wonderful. Angsty tea bags. Angsty tea bags. Uh, here's a great one. Uh, if this video doesn't get a million views, then there is something wrong with this fucking world. That's for uh, Professor Whiskers from Ahmed Amir. Thanks well, there is you. something wrong with this fucking world, isn't there? 
Guys, I really like it. I know it's had a slightly mixed reception. Oh, no, the mixed reception hasn't been this is good or bad. It's been this is good and this is a bit too much for me. Which is, uh, <laughs> Which you know, okay ideally with. what I'm going for with uh, <laughs> the lot of what we do. So I'm pretty happy with that. And there was this amazing moment uh, when, when, when I was uploading the video, Max did the, the little 15-second teaser, which is just the first 15 seconds of the video when I was uploading it onto Facebook. Where I was like, uh, most songs, most full on things like escalate, but we have got to licking his dick and shitting on the floor within yeah. the first 15 seconds there, of the song. There was a comment on here. I can't find it. Ex- oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, cool. Mark's the lead in this song. Wonder what will be about 12 seconds in. Licking his penis and shitting on the floor. <laughs> what do you want, cunts? What do you want? Can you guys explain this comment to me? Uh huh. It's from Home Brand Essentials Bleach Lemon 21, mm-hmm. four days ago. My name is Brandon Wood, <laughs> and I love cum. What does that mean? I don't know. I think Brandon Wood just loves a bit of cum. Is that his name? He doesn't love a bit of cum. He's, he's, that's not his name on the thing. Brandon Wood, and I love cum. Brandon oh. Wood is an American former professional baseball infielder for Anaheim and Los Angeles. There is an amazing um, three, <laughs> three comments. Yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic. I don't know. I think I've got to read them from bottom up. Sure. Right? These are all from the same person. These are from Rosie Raw, and then in her name she has the the smiley laughing face doing the X. It's like the, like a little X and then a capital D. And the first comment is, Broden as a doctor, L-M-A-O-O. And then the second comment, all in capitals, by the way. These are all in cap locks, all three. Second comment is, Jesus, this is in rents. <laughs> I think she meant intense. And then the third one is, Wuja the fick is Chris shit auntie dinner. <laughs> what was it? Would ya the fick is Chris shit auntie dinner. <laughs> so read them through again in quicker succession. Broden as a doctor, Lameo O. Jesus, this is in rents. Would ya the fick is Chris shit auntie dinner. <laughs> Uh, that's so funny We've got one uh, that's a little bit less funny here This one is from Miranda underscore Kerr That Zach, Zach is a sexy fat <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to give him a little kiss on the lips That's not real Yeah, it's just so such a one of the videos, whatever It's, a it's, it's a on Mr. Moustache, man <laughs> It's on Mr. Moustache, man <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> wants to give me a kiss. It's oh, gone. man. Bit of love for Sammy J. Fuck yeah, Sammy J. Sammy J. Bit of love for Sammy J on there. Um, <laughs> oh, I'll just have a little read. This one, <laughs> <laughs> this one says about Dad, the South Park line didn't fit. He's in his late 30s. He was a teenager when South Park was relevant. So oh. about the line South Park. Yeah, really... I read that too. So this is this is something. If I can help break it and down then... for this person, just a little bit. What do you mean when it was relevant? Uh, what what this person probably doesn't understand is that we're sketch comedians, and and Broden is actually playing a character. Um, now that character, that, even though Broden is in his late thirties, this character, <laughs> <laughs> this character. <laughs> Could be anything up to his late fifties. He could be ninety-seven, and um, and that's really where he's coming from. Is uh, Broden grew up with South Park, but this character is based on 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 uh, on a dad who's a little bit older and doesn't like South Park. So a little bit confusing there. A little I'm, bit hard to. I'm take twenty-nine. On. Yes, that's what I said. I'm twenty-nine. Yeah, just... I'm. This man is positing that I am. In my late thirties, oh, oh, or is he saying that I'm playing a dad who's and I'm stretching a bit? What am, what's he saying? I don't. He, he, on every front, this guy's a dumb cunt. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> We're losing subs left, right, and center. <laughs> what? It's a stupid fucking comment. No, but then right. one of you, one we of love you, we love all the comments. <laughs> one of you has responded, uh, "Sorry." What would you suggest instead? We're always looking to improve. <laughs> was that either? That was of- Sam. That was Sam. definitely Sam. One hundred percent Sam. And then he wrote back. Someone our generation doesn't understand. YouTube celebs, perhaps? I eagerly await the re-upload. Thoughts, Zach? I, I just want to apologise to this gentleman. <laughs> um, because I haven't really thought this through, but there are a lot of dads that aren't much older than us. Like, we're, we're hitting that age where if, if someone is conceivably in their late 30s, um, I'm just digging, trying to dig away from how <laughs> mean I was. You called him a cunt. <laughs> um, I just want to apologise to this man. He, he gave some constructive criticism. Here's one for you, Mark. Yeah. Uh, I'm from sorry. Goku Shit. Zhao. Mark's really stretching his acting skills with that Italian man character. <laughs> so what they're saying is that... I don't have a lot of range. Yeah, and uh, and he's he's brought... Attention to that. Well, that, I think you say it a lot, but what I, I the, don't. Uh, what are the uh, there's comments underneath that? Do you want me to read that? <laughs> yes. So someone under that has written, and his YouTube uh, handle is some random Nazi. Good. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. And he said, I think he could pull off a terrorist. Now I don't know if he's saying that you could play a terrorist in a film, or, or that could give you one could a reach around. You yeah. could give a terrorist a hand job. Yeah, yeah. I think he could pull off a terrorist. There's another one, and then Mr. Little Mac, who is responding to some random Nazi, has written Italian. Sounded like French. LMAO. You know when we started this podcast. I didn't realise we were going to go down this path. My question to you is, mm. if Hollywood came and knocking yeah. and said, Mark, I want you to be in a big Hollywood film, you're going to play a terrorist. I think, can I preempt, I think this is going to lead to a very serious answer relating to identity politics and the characters that Mark has a right to An play. Italian terrorist. Oh, Okay. That, well, that, that is the only situation where I'd say yes. Okay. If they were saying, we want you to play Allah Akbar, oh, well, like, okay. what? Nothing. No, go on. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of terrorist, <laughs> Middle Eastern. Mm. There's I, absolutely not. A million dollars. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'd play that part for a million dollars. Are you kidding me? I'm not an idiot. What about a Greek terrorist? No, no. Greeks are dogs. Greeks are dirty hey. dogs. I'd never play. You're not Greek. He's, his he's children practically will be. Greek. His partner's Greek. His children will be Greek. Yeah, but you're not Greek. The director of I'm this is Greek. I'm taking partner's back last name, mate. You're gonna and take. I'll be Greek. You're gonna be Tom. Is that who I can't remember? So how are you? Really? <laughs> yeah. Is that f- legit? Legit. That's very. That's very uh, feminist of you, Tom. Yeah, it is in a way, isn't it? I don't know if you're being sincere. I'm being 100 percent sincere. So we've got a comment here at, uh, saying 2.13 and I am weirdly turned on. <laughs> What's That's at 2.13? Shaft. So let's see what turned on this person <laughs> at 2.13. Um, it's uh, Mark holding rapping. It's Mark rapping. Oh, I thought it was Mark holding bricks. It does. <laughs> Is it Mark holding bricks? I Is reckon it... it's Mark holding bricks. Maybe it's just the whole sequence. And maybe the range that I have is that I can do Italian terrorist and turn people on. Well, I just think, I think someone has gone, oh, I love a bricky boy. <laughs> I love me a bricky boy. <laughs> Excuse me, bricky boy. <laughs> I wish, I, wish uh, I was one of them bricks. <laughs> This is great. Guys, I love reading YouTube comments with you. I love um, just hanging out with my friends. I love Max filming. I love filling while you guys find another comment to to read out. This is a good one on Professor Whiskers. Just says no. (laughs) (laughs) Just no. I feel like it's important to say we are picking out like what, the 5%? Because there'll be people listening that go, oh, everyone hates these videos. The stats on them are saying that 90- you love them. Ninety-seven percent to ninety-eight percent is positively received. 
Uh, so we, I want people to know that. So don't feel bad for us. We just enjoy reading things that attack us. And also, uh, I when just, I say us, I mean him, <laughs> Mark, and call Mark a terrorist. I also just want to say, I just want to speak true for a second here, boys. <laughs> And I want to say that um, maybe this is going to send some alarm bells to some people. Some people are going to be listening to this podcast. They're going to be watching on YouTube and think, wow, the celebrities that I'm commenting on on my TMZs or on their YouTube channels, maybe they're reading those comments. Maybe these anonymous things I'm saying online are hurting some feelings. And that, and maybe because I know they're reading now, I can go harder. I can go harder. And really. Mm. On celebrities like us. <laughs> We're not celebrities. I'm a big famous celebrity. <laughs> um on another note. Oh, this is a great okay, one. Great. No, please. No, no, I was just trying to fill while you found one. This is another one on Whiskers, which says uh just because the chuffed ones are uh, I'm I'm not looking at them on the video, I'm just looking at them on yeah, the yeah, feed. Yeah, it's the most recent short. I understand. Yeah. Sure. I'll I'll get to chuffed. <laughs> This one says, just want to take a moment to apologize to any members of my family who enjoyed me sharing the dad song on Facebook last week and came here to see what other wholesome stuff Auntie Donna does. We really did. That's on the professor. That's very very funny. I said that's very family, but that's very funny. (laughs) Well, it is very family. It is very family. It is very family orientated. We did do a, a big jump in style from... First release to second release of the album. Yeah, this is a bigger jump than yeah. Green Light to Perfect Places. Yeah, I mean it was quite purposeful and it was quite a mistake. Clearly, <laughs> um, uh, we got another one here from Brownie Waffles. Does anyone have the new Auntie Donna banger song in the outro? I looked through their SoundCloud, but I couldn't find it. Uh, well, I'll tell you where that is. That's on the uh, Auntie Donna album, available for pre-order uh, right now on the iTunes and the website. You can hit the links down below on the bottom of the... Anywhere you want to hit the link, you can pre-order the album and you can get that outro banger uh, <laughs> done by Tom, by Tom, Auntie Donna, and uh, by Sub Boy, Subhuman. Anyway, back to it, boys. Well, we're just needing to wrap it up shortly. I don't hate the Greeks. I want to make that super clear. And I, have, I don't think I that... have nothing against the Greeks. I was just doing that for comedic effect. If you're Greek, I apologize. I love feta. I love dolmades. I love the people. And I just want to apologize to the guy I call a dumb cunt. <laughs> you're not a dumb cunt. We welcome your constructive criticism. Okay. You no, know. no more jokes. No, nothing. I'm not following this up with anything. Thank you so much for your constructive criticism. We really appreciate it. Good one, man. No, no. I just, I thank you, thank you, sir. For, what did he say again? Uh, he just said that um, uh, you you were playing a 39 year old, and uh, he decided that you were playing a 39 year old, and the reference didn't work. Thank you. We did not make it clear enough uh, how old the dad was. Uh, so we will uh, either change the reference or we will age him up and re-upload the video pr- uh, quick snap. So Seems like apologies. there's an undertone of no, no, aggression. I, I called someone, you know, because it's about in creating a positive relationship with our fans. Uh, we don't want to bring negativity into the space. So if I call someone a dumb cunt, that's going to come back so many times over. The guy's not a dumb cunt. He has opinions. <laughs> That are different to me. Uh, he has opinions that are different to us as a group, and he's he's given us some feedback. So I just want to say thank you. You're not a dumb cunt. We must be dumb cunts. <laughs> this is three dumb cunts here uh, who don't know how to make sketches. Just a couple of dumb cunts who just trolloping around, making our little dumb cunt videos. Uh, decide uh, making a 39 year old that doesn't like South Park. So I'm sorry, I'm a dumb cunt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark's a dumb cunt. I'm very sorry, Broden's a dumb cunt. And uh, maybe we'll just stop making videos for free. Hey. It sounds like there's you're not being sincere with your apology. No. You uh, sound mad. No, I'm not mad at all. I'm, I'm, I feel bad. I, I spent this whole time thought I, thought I, was doing, I was doing a service, helping 
people out, making some laughs. Turns out I'm a dumb cunt. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to just step back and stop being a dumb cunt. I feel like it feels. I don't know. Like yeah. I just I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't say dumb cunt that amount of times unless I was upset. I, I'm saying dumb cunt because I'm a dumb cunt, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm such a dumb cunt. <laughs> and he. What do you think of him? Of that guy? I think you're a top bloke. <laughs> I think I'm a dumb cunt, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being such a dumb cunt. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't like. You don't have to take all the blame. We all wrote that. Song. We're all dumb cunts, right? You're a dumb cunt. You're a dumb cunt. You're a dumb cunt. Um, that's six dumb cunts and one person that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if you're watching this, you're not a dumb cunt. Zach has made it very clear that we're all dumb cunts. I wonder if we're gonna. I wonder if we're gonna get ad money on this video. <laughs> yeah, you can. If you do rude videos now, you can't make money on YouTube anymore. So we can't put up our suicide forest video and make money off it. Unfortunately, <laughs> but whatever. But uh, thank you so much. This is the first time I've done this, and I had fun doing it. Did you guys have fun doing it? I had so much fun. I doing had fun. It. I want to apologise if I offended any Greeks and. <laughs> And I want to apologize to you boys if I took the – well, first of all, for putting the phone in your face so many times, Broden. I genuinely didn't mean to do that. And I'm pretty sure I've consistently done it throughout the podcast, even when I've been – keep trying to remind myself Max, not nod to. with the camera if he has been doing that. Yeah. yeah I'm so sorry. Yeah. I really didn't mean to. And if the scrot nut, slice the nut in half, cream egg, sperm, <laughs> suck the sperm in, spit into the cat's vagina bit – was too much then i want to apologize i remember talking about it but i do apologize if it was too much i think but i do feel like you guys spoke to me and i feel like we all agreed on that beforehand so it just feels a little bit rough now that um we're all just disagreeing and saying that that didn't happen but that is fine that's fine for everyone who is listening, thank you for listening. For everyone who's watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. But what about that that, that diagram? That's that little Venn diagram. diagram. People who watch and listen at the mm. same time. At the same time. I call you, them humans. You could probably uh, turn off the sound on the audio podcast, turn up the sound on the video. It's very similar. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, or oh, are you saying people that are watching and listening to the video? Yes, because I, I want to thank them. It's too. an audio visual experience. Yeah, I want to thank them too. So thank you. Um, we do a podcast every week. So head on over to the uh, to Omni? Omni, Omni, whatever. However Omni? you listen to your podcast, we'll Omni, only Omni, be filming some of them so you can listen to all of them. We're in um, America at the moment. Come to our America shows. All that. We're Please not do. in America. Literally, you go there tomorrow. You mm-hmm. go there tomorrow. I'm leaving Thursday, Mark's leaving Thursday, but when this comes out, we're in America. And lastly, check out our Patreon if you want to support us. Mark, you know a bit about the Patreon. You want to tell Patreon.com slash Auntie Donna. Uh, we got more, we got stuff on there. You can get more podcasts. It's super fun. Um, and also next week, we're going to have a fresh hot tune for you straight out of the oven, which is pretty sweet. Great. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. And thanks for having us. And we love your comments. Keep commenting. Thank you. Shuckers. Go harder. Shuckers. <laughs> yeah, go harder. That's what, I, that's what my self-esteem needs. Also, people to go harder. If you like it, send some positive love as well. <laughs> thanks, guys. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank Auntie you. Donna.